How's it going guys? It's the Pixlay Pumpkin and in today's video I'm going to give you a tour of the Spirit Halloween 2023 flagship store. Now credit to Haunter Chad and Hauntformer for providing the footage for this video since I unfortunately was not able to attend this year but hopefully next year. Anyways I'll be going through the entire theme and all the animatronics on display so I'll be giving you my thoughts on all of that since I know you guys are dying to hear it. So anyways guys let's get started by taking a look at the front theme and archway in the Spirit Hallows Cemetery. So starting off with the archway here, I have to say right off the bat how detailed this theme is. It is really awesome. From the little lanterns on the side to the dead trees, it is really, really cool. And here we have a leather face, pretty woman leather face to be exact. And it's a pretty good leather face prop, but I do think Party City definitely won this year for sure in terms of the leather faces. And this one's all right. I love how the chainsaw spins though, which the Party City one lacks. Here we have Stilts the Clown now, and he is pretty gigantic in person, as you could see here. And I mean, I don't really know what to say about this guy other than that he's not the best in my opinion. De definitely one of the most kid-friendly looking clowns. Now back to the archway here, you could just see how detailed this thing is. Look at the Spirit Hollow sign. So you could see Mac here is pointing out all the details. The gargoyles on top are really cool too. And even these tombstones, look how detailed those are. And they're only being sold at the end of the season, so I hope I could get my hands on them. Now here we have the front theme, and here is the Mars Attacks Martian Warrior. Now this one is another fantastic license prop, I think. It is so unique. I would never expect Spear Halloween in a million years to do a Mars Attacks prop, but yet here we are, and it looks awesome. Now passing on by, you get a little bit of a glimpse of the walkthrough in there, which we'll come back to, but here we have poor George, and another great animatronic in my opinion, especially for being a clown. I love how he spins around like that, and he looks way bigger in person than I expected him to be, so that is really, really cool. And I like the little display they have him set on, and originally Heckles was supposed to go here before he got recalled because of the face deformities, so I'm sure SVI is under a lot of heat for that one. Now as we come inside you could see all the little details like here lies menacing molly and all the other props from spirit halloween past which is really cool like hugs the clown and over here we have the new scary sitting scarecrow with some more detailing i love the windows in this theme by the way the windows are so cool looking and those got even little flame things too there's such detail packed in here here we have some more graves over there, like Ophelia, Grimm, a whole bunch of little dead mausoleum characters, which is really cool. The ceiling in this theme, too, is really, really awesome. I love the windows, once again. There's just so much detail packed in. And the lanterns, of course, too, really all bring it together so well. There you have the hologram fan, which is returning from last year. And this definitely reminds me of what they do in the Haunted Mansion in Disney World, how at the end of the ride, you look up. And they definitely mimic that for sure here. There you have Dagger Mike, which is huge in person, as you could see. There you get another look at all the detailing in here. It looks fantastic. Now, coming outside, once again, we have Slim, which is so cool to see. He is enormous and very well detailed as well, just like from the movie. Moving over again, we have the Widow, which I was actually surprised to see in store this year. I was not expecting her to be an in-store prop, but yet here we are, and she is fantastic. She fits the theme perfectly, and is definitely way more of a scary prop, which I would never expect them to bring in store, so it is really cool to see these online onlys getting a chance in store, which the Widow is definitely the best choice they could have made for this year. I love how this thing looks. It is so scary, and again, fits the graveyard and mausoleum theme perfectly. Now here we are in the back theme and it is just loaded with animatronics. There's so much to talk about here. As you can see, there's Hellspawn and Howling Spirit, two awesome animatronics right there. Look how gigantic Howling Spirit is, just towering over everything. Same with Hellspawn at his max height, of course. There's almost another mini archway, basically, in this theme right here that, that has the two parts of the cemetery on either side, which looks fantastic. Here we have Darling Dolly, which is just such an awesome animatronic. Look how big it is in the theme here. Really, really cool. We're going to see her jump scare right about now, and it comes out very fast. Here we go. And her head actually shoots out a little bit too, which is something I never noticed in the sneak peek video, so that's really cool to see. She drops down, and her head kind of pops out as well. Now we walk through the little archway, 
And again, I really love that little theme there. It works really well. Here we have some new technology being introduced with the little door opening effect for the jumping spider. It's so simple, but it works so well. Here we have Desmodus, which apparently jumps up really, really fast. You got Grave Watcher and Lil Skelly Bones there. And there's Desmodus. I love how he opens up his wings. He has a massive wingspan, basically covering the entire part of that middle of the back theme right there. Here we have the Black Heart 2, which is such a fantastic animatronic. I like how he has his own little section even, just because of how awesome he is. They give him his own little area, which is so cool. Here he's gonna go, he's gonna open up and show you the dead body inside. Wow, look at that. And I love the color they put on him too with the lights. Really, really awesome. Now here we have Gordo and Eternal Rest, two great little props right here. Gordo, I'm not really sure how much I like him. He's just still so weird that he's on the little pillar right there. Not the biggest fan of that, but overall, decent enough. Here we have the Gargoyle, which was from a few years back. So glad they brought it back for this theme. It looks really cool. And as you could see, all the detailing just packed in. Here's Hallowing Spirit once again. And seriously, what an awesome ghost. Now here is Hellspawn, which of course is a remake of Mr. Dark, but he still looks so awesome. He's going to jump up any second now and scare the crap out of anybody around him. There he goes. What an awesome jump scare. And look how tall he gets. That is gigantic. All right, everybody. Now it's time to give my thoughts on the Spirit Halloween theme this year, since we have basically the final look at it now. We see everything. We know everything there is to it. And to be honest with you guys, I really, really like it. But there's just some stuff that holds it back for me. Well, I'll give my positives first. So first of all, it is a very, very classic Halloween theme, and you cannot go wrong with this cemetery. And they did a fantastic job creating a great cemetery slash mausoleum for us this year, which I think for the most part looks fantastic. The front mausoleum looks great as well. I really love the front mausoleum. I love the little walkthrough inside. I like how there's animatronics inside as well. That is really cool. And the hologram fan, the way it's set up is straight out of the Haunted Mansion from Disney, which I just like that a lot as well. Really Really cool stuff there. For the back theme, I am a little bit disappointed that there is no true walkthrough this year. Instead, they opted out for putting like a prop walkthrough kind of where you have the props on either side of you. But I really would have liked to see another tunnel like last year. Those always just work so well in my opinion. And there should really be no theme without them at this point because it's just like such a cool surprise when you finally get to see it. And I feel like we kind of had that in the front theme this year, but still, I really would have liked to see another tunnel going through the back. But they did do a good job for the back theme as well. I feel like it's just a little bit more bland than the front, and there could have been more stuff happening, but I think it's pretty good overall. I also feel like this theme is lacking any new technology. Last year especially, we had so much new technology, like the lightning tubes, the bubble tubes. There was so much last year that was brand new to the themes and stuff like that. But this year, we just have the hologram fan, which is returning from last year, and we have that opening door, of course, which, while I admit, is really cool it's still pretty simple and it's not like the biggest jump in terms of technology i feel like if i feel like if anything it's a bit of a step behind so i would have liked to see some more technology integrated in the themes this year that feels like the punch that's missing from this theme in my opinion but overall it is pretty great all right, everybody, that's going to be it for my tour of the Spirit Halloween 2023 flagship store. Be sure to like and subscribe. And thank you so much to Haunter Chad and Mac from Hauntformer for letting me use their footage that they took during this event. Because again, unfortunately, I was not able to attend, but next year is my year, I promise. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. And remember, nobody outpixelates the pumpkin.